Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This here is Frank Riddle with the Damn News Weekly Report. Glad you could see me today. Hey, Victoria, I want my pink forward shirt just for you today. We are at the Chesterfield Airport where they have a couple of planes. There's a B-17, the big one, and a P-51 fighter plane over there. Two of the planes that helped us win the war, and thank God that we did. All, all the Allies, of course, we didn't just win it. All the Allies won it. And those planes like this that made it happen. God forbid the wrong side would have won that war. I don't know if we'd have an Earth left or not. Now, people are paying 450 U.S. dollars for a ride in one of these planes. They are awesome. A little windy out here. A little chilly also, but a reporter's got to do what a reporter's got to do to, to do reporting. <laughs> yeah, that's a racing little machine right there. I think it's a P-51 and a B-17. I'm going to walk you around this way. Let me put my focus back right again. And this is the Chesterfield Airport, about 10 miles away from where I live, here in Chesterfield County, United States of America, Virginia, in the United States of America, Northern Hemisphere, um, planet Earth, Milky Way Galaxy. That's where I'm coming from. Somewhere in there. All right, here's it. Let me walk down a little bit further. I want to catch it from the front. They probably, in fact, they did use that plane. They used that plane during the war. There's only about 15 or 20 of them still left. They scrapped most all of them. Yeah, I know it's getting fuzzy now because I'm moving. But that's one awesome machine. These people are flying in it for fun today. About $450 a person, but I can see what I need to see of it from right here. And I'm glad I did not have to fly in them when they were using them for real. There comes the airplane over the top now, but that's just one of the locals. Well, folks, we're going to wait around for a little while and see if they fire this mother up. Once they get it loaded with people, they're going to fire it up. You might not be able to hear me talking, but then again, that might be a blessing. <laughs> I'm just so full of wit. Although some people would add the S in front of that turn it into something else. Well, here we are, and that's going to be about it for right now. I'll add another segment onto the damn news weekly report. Just as soon as uh, this mother fired up, I bet that thing will kick ass. Alrighty. Well, for the time being, this is Frank Rigo with the. Can't even remember my last name. This is Frank Rigo with the Damn News Weekly Report, and I am over.